In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise, the martyr. This is offer for the souls of Diane Miller. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most previous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the ancient saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications of your people, make under the patronage of the martyr Saint Blaise and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find hope for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. As a father has compassion on his children, 
So the Lord has compassion on those who fear Him, for He knows how we are born. He remembers that we are dust. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear Him, and His justice toward children's children among those who keep His covenant. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon. And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, he said in his native place, a man in his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Right is the beginning of failure. It was the bride that led Lucifer, Adam, and Eve fall into sins. Like rebellious children, they rebelled against God and tried to be like God with pride. And pride also led them to reject the taking the responsibility for their sins. Adam blamed on Eve and God for eating the forbidden fruits, and Eve blamed on snakes. Pride required uh, to be humbled by God and disciplinary actions. They were expelled from that garden of Eden. In today's first reading, the letters to the Hebrews speak of sin, disciplinary action, and accepting this disciplinary action with faith and trust. There will be fruit of righteousness. God disciplined us to get rid of this pride. Faith is the opposite of pride. Jesus went to the, his hometown of Nazareth. The people also suffered from the consequence of their pride. They could not believe the one who was commanded, Jesus of Nazareth, to be Son of God, the Messiah they were waiting for. So the Gospel of Mark tells us Jesus could not perform healing because of their lack of faith. But Jesus gave us wonderful opportunity and 
ways to salvation through the sacraments in the church. When we approach through the sacrament, we also need faith, the opposite of pride. With trust and confidence in God's way, His plan, and His graces in the church, only then Jesus is able to perform the miracle of healing and forgiveness. It is especially true for the confession. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, Jesus said to St. Peter, those who are found, it will be found in heaven. And those who are loose by you, they will be loosened in even in heaven. And in John chapter 20, verses 22 to 23, Jesus, after his resurrection, he appeared to the disciples and received the Holy Spirit. Those sins you are forgiven, they are forgiven. Those sins you are not forgiven, they are not forgiven. But the church always offers forgiveness of sins. But we need to approach with trust and confidence, faith in the authority of Jesus Christ by which the sins are forgiven by the priests. Even in the Didache, which we are reading around the 1780, said, confess your sins in the church and don't go to pray with evil conscience. So there's a lot of evidence in the Bible and the tradition. Jesus gave us this forgiveness for sin, the sacrament of confession. We have to approach with faith and trust. It is for ourselves, for our own God. When Holy Father made a missionary for masses, and he reminded them, receive all those who are coming to the confession with great mercy and like a brother. You do not act as a very strict judge because you yourself are sinners. So let us approach the sacrament of confession. What Jesus said, come to me, my garden is life. This pattern is forgiven sins. We know that God is all wise and all loving, and so we turn to our generous Creator with our petitions with confidence and faith. For the Church, the members and leaders of the body of Christ, may we grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. For civil leaders, may they always work to ensure lasting peace and justice and protection of all the life for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. For the healing of all whose lives are controlled by addictions, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are seeking God but do not know where to find Him, let us pray to the Lord. For coronavirus patients, for those who are dying, and for those who are taking care of them, we pray to the Lord. For all people to respect life, from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in the hope of seeing God, especially Diane Miller, for whom this month is being offered, we pray to the Lord. For our special intention, we present to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, you sent your Son to show us the way to eternal life. Open our eyes to see the way of your kingdom. Hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Sally Loka or all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through all the earth and walk our human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless our you, Lord, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through our divine and walk our human hands, it will begin our spiritual drink. Great brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be a liver to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. Blaise overcame every bodily torment, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. They are very sufferings of the wonders of your mind. In your mercy you give honor to their faith. In, to their endurance you grant fun resort. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord, therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when Sabah was at death, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be going to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the secret mystery of which we have part again, O Lord, we pray. Give us that determination which made you our same place, faithful in your service, and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Blaise, who was Bishop of Sepas in Armenia in the 4th century. Before being martyr, he is said to have killed a boy who was choking. Since the 8th century, St. Blaise has been venerated as the patron of those who suffer from diseases of the throat. We pray in a special way today for protection for all affliction of the throat and from other illnesses, including coronavirus. The blessing of St. Blaise is a sign of our faith in God's protection and love for us and for the sick. Please place your hands on your throat. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from other illnesses. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Saint Martha, defense of the day of battle, be your profession against the weakness and snare of the devil. May God redeem him with your holy prayer. Do the praise of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust in the power of Satan, of the universe, who brought throughout the world, seeking them.